Aloha, everybody, and welcome to part 11 of Mega Man Legends. And uh, we are now in Uptown, and we're heading towards the second subgate of the game. Uh, but before we go there, I want to pay a visit to the painter lady, because we got her some red lipstick. Oh, you're back. Hmm? What's that? Hey, could I borrow that for a second? That's it! That's perfect! That's exactly what it needed. Thank you so much! Oh, would you look at the time? I better be going. You're welcome! That's a good thing Mega Man's a big art buff and that he knew that painting needed some red. <laughs> good eye, Mega Man, good eye. And uh, now we're at... Wily's boat. Wily. Huh. I seem to recall a character named Wily somewhere in the Mega Man mythos. He was a scientist guy. He was really obsessed with skulls. He was very adamant that we please forgive him because he tried to conquer the world dozens of times until we kicked his ass and made him beg for mercy. <laughs> Don't worry, folks. This is not the same Dr. Wily. This is not that Wily. This is a different Wily who just kind of happens to look a little bit like Dr. Wily, but it's different! <laughs> Probably a long lost descendant. Is he good? Is he evil? I don't know! And I'm also still kind of questioning whether this was supposed to be a reboot of Wily's character, because again, when Legends first came out, you know, we got a Mega Man, we got a Roll, we got a Wily. Was this supposed to be 8,000, 9,000 years in the future back in 1997? Or was this just a completely different take on Mega Man? I don't know. I don't know if Capcom decided that when this game was being made, or much later in the 2000 period. <laughs> but either way, this is Wily. He looks like Wily, except he's missing an eye. And he's a fisherman. And the reason we're here at the boat shop is because we need a boat in order to get to the Lake Giant, Lake Jiun, whatever, subgate. And, uh, this part's kind of confusing and it's going to make a lot of players turn their back and go the other way. Sorry, no boats there either. Someone's gone and stole all my boats. I've only got one left and it's broken down. Please forgive me. You have to activate the door again. Some people are going to think that that text box showing up means they have to leave and try to find something else. No, you have to activate the door a second time with the circle button, and then you can walk through it. And with the boat being disabled, and these weird construction guys who look like human Metzuls, Mets... Symbolism? Uh, <laughs> Wily has Mets working on his, his boat? Uh, we can't re we can't repair the the boat unless we have the yellow refractor that we got in the Cardin subgate. So that's why you do the Cardin subgate first, and then we do this one second. Someone's been taking really good care of this boat. There. Whoa. Do you really think you should be doing that? Would you look at this engine? Let's see. All we need to do is fix the transformer and the refractor and it'll be as good as new. Roll. And what do you think you're doing, hmm? Huh? Um... Mega Man, could you hand me a wrench? Uh. Just a sec, Roll. Sorry? I don't know what came over me. I just started fixing the ship and... You really love machines, don't you? I can tell just by looking at your face. Hmm? Well, your face. It's covered with grease. <laughs> I'm glad I could get someone as pretty as you to fix my boat for me. Tell you what. You can use it anytime you want. We'll be able to get to the island now. 
That's great. Let me know when you want to go out to the island. I'll pilot the boat for you. See you later. Okay. Alrighty, so thanks to the card in Subgate's uh, yellow refractor, the boat is working, and now we can shove off to Lake Giant Subgate. And uh, I would I would warn you to save the game and to get a Mega Buster that has range. Mega Man, are you ready? Yup, let's go. Here we go. I'm picking something up on the sonar. Keep an eye out, Mega Man. We knew it. They're here. Their robots are here. That's right, folks. The Bonds are back, and they are protecting the Lake Giant Subgate. Like, that's literally it on that small island. Mission We're right start. there. But unfortunately, the Bonds are attacking us. And at this point, your Mega Busters could probably use some range, because otherwise you're not going to reach any of the ships that are shooting at you or any of the missiles that are coming at you. And I will admit, I'm not very great at this section. You know, I'm very good at handling all the bosses in this game. Uh, wait till you see how I handle Bruno later in this playthrough. Yes, there's a boss named Bruno. Uh, <laughs> it's a machine. It, it's it's not a person. It, it's, it's, it's a machine named Bruno. But either way, look forward to that. Um, but this one, I will admit, I've never been a super expert at it. Sometimes I've cut it close to the point where, like, Roll had a sliver of health left. Other times I've got it so she had half health left by the time I was done. Um, so it's been kind of a on and off kind of experience. I just know that like, there are airships in the sky that are shooting at you. And you gotta aim at those. And then you got the, the ones in the water who will shoot missiles at you. And the missiles leave a wave, so you can definitely see them coming. And you can also lock onto the missiles with the R2 button, although that can be kind of tricky. Like, I would, I would suggest not locking on sometimes, but I don't know, sometimes it can save you. I don't claim to be an expert on this boss fight, but you can lock onto the missiles, is all I'm saying. And uh, sometimes I have found it just shoots over it when you lock onto things. Like if a missile's like getting really close to you, sometimes the pellet will go just a little bit further than the actual missile itself, and then I'll miss. Um, you can... But this is basically a manual aiming thing. Like, Mega Man can't walk at all. When you're using the control pad, Mega Man's just moving the camera and moving his center of direction. And you just sort of... You know, it's sort of like a first-person experience, almost, except we can clearly see Mega Man on screen. But, uh... Yeah, you're not moving anywhere. You're just moving the camera with the control pad. And you really gotta pay attention, because... Missiles and, and underwater missiles and the airships all over the place and... It's, it's, it's the flying homing missiles that really bug me, because the mo homing missiles, you can't really lock onto them because, like, they, then they're moving too fast and Mega Man can't really shoot it in time. And if you're manual aiming, you really gotta, like, try and get ahead of it to shoot the homing missiles. And meanwhile, all these airships are shooting at you and these other boats are trying to hit you with their underwater missiles. So, yeah, I would just recommend having a Mega Buster with some range so you can get them from far away. I would recommend, um, if you really suck at this section more than I do, uh, there is a chance you will get to refill your health bar, and I decided not to take it because I'm a badass. And <laughs> but it's not the worst thing in the world. I I'm kind of overhyping this as some, like, really hard, hard challenge. I've never gotten a game over on this, really. I've come close, but I never have. And most of the time, I almost got a game over. That's because I didn't choose to heal myself in the middle of this whole fight. Like, you have the opportunity to. In terms of special weapons, uh, your special weapons can attack them, you know. If you use the powered buster, it can shoot pretty far enough that it will hit them. I brought the blade arm, so it's not really good for me here. <laughs> I will slash you if you get up here. Come on, come come face to face with Mega Man, you, you bastards. Sometimes Roll gives you a little piece of, like, heads up, like, oh, they're, they're in front of us, and, like, 
I'm too busy focusing on like the ones behind us because they're still behind us and they're still going to shoot their homing underwater missiles and I don't want to get hit by them and yeah. And the top left, that's Roll's health. That's the boat, you know? I've already had that much damage done to me. So it's not the hardest thing in the world. I'm kind of overplaying how difficult it is. I'm just saying I'm not an expert on it. This is the one section of Mega Man Legends where I probably don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I always just sort of get by it, you know? It looks like we got rid of all their little ships. Wait! I can see it on the sonar! Heads up, Mega Man! Something big's coming this way! I knew our little blue boy'd show up! I figured we'd run into him sooner or later if we waited here! Slow ahead! Slow ahead! Concentrate your fire on the blue boy. Blow him and his little toy boat out of the water. What? But, Diesel, if we sink his boat, won't the keys go down with it? Who cares? Once he's out of the way, we can get whatever we want from the man. Right? We've got to take care of him once and for all. Thanks to him, our plans have been completely ruined. I'm going to teach him a lesson. All right, men, let's do it. What's wrong with me? Why should I care if he... If that little brat dies, I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. Oh god, boss time. Okay, so right up front, he's just going to be shooting missiles out of the top of his head, and you can't intercept them just as soon as they get out. And uh, that's why I'm just going to keep shooting near the head uh, for the opening part. But for the most part, we can't really do anything. You can't really damage the machine at all. You can't uh, defeat it here and now. So just keep concentrating on the missiles until Roll talks to us. Mega Man, what should we do? Fight or retreat? Never run, never surrender. We fight! Okay, Mega Man, hold on, cause it's gonna get rough. If you chose to retreat, you would go back to Wily's boat, and it will repair the damage done to the boat in the first section. Uh, but I think I can handle this boss now, and I got more than half health, so screw it. Let's take on the Bonds. I'm not, I'm not running away. Let's fight him. Again, for this part, he's just going to shoot missiles out of his head. We can't really damage him yet. So just keep shooting those missiles. What's the matter? If you don't watch it, you're going to end up with a big hole in your backside! <laughs> Mega Man! Mega Man, are you alright? You didn't fall off or anything, did you? No, Roll, I didn't fall off. Can't you hear my Mega Buster? <laughs> well, either way, folks, now that we're in this little lake area, the machine can finally be damaged. And what you want to destroy are the two arms and the two cannons on the back. Once those are destroyed, his weak point will come out, and you can destroy that to defeat the boss. But we have to concentrate all fire on the arms and the cannons. And this is the point where a lot of players are going to realize that if they don't have any range on the Mega Buster, it's not going to reach those arms, it's not going to do any damage, and eventually those missiles it keeps shooting out that you have to multitask in order to take out will destroy Roll's boat. So, uh, you got to be careful with this one. you got to be really, really careful. I can't really control where Roll goes, you know? And Mega Man, even when he's not locking onto things with R2, he still kind of has an auto lock on, so it kind of still goes in directions you don't necessarily want it to go, which kind of sucks. And even if you turn on lock on off in the options menu, this facing an enemy kind of lock on still stays there. It's just you can't hold R2 and it locks you into position, you know? So, 
just as long as your Mega Buster is powerful enough, as long as it has range. And again, sub weapons are useful. If you have a powered Buster, uh, take advantage of that. But once all the arms and the back parts are destroyed, the turrets, eventually this little core will come out of the back and you have to shoot that down in order to beat this boss. And Roll's health ain't looking too good, if I do say so myself. There it is. There's the core. Shoot the core. That will drain the health. And he shoot the core till the health's gone, and we win this boss fight. But you gotta be careful. It's building up energy to shoot some green energy balls at us. And since we can't pilot the boat, we can't really dodge that. Just keep shooting it and shooting it and shooting it, and hopefully you'll have plenty of health, and you will defeat this thing. But, uh, yeah. A clumsy win. I don't think I'm an expert at this boss fight or anything, but uh, this is how I do it, and this is how I win. Mission complete. Booyah! <laughs> Status report. This is the engineer reporting. Our engines are completely offline. There's flooding in the main hall. The build pumps aren't working. There are fires in blocks two and three. They're being sealed off. Diesel, I hate to admit it, but. She's not gonna last much longer! I'm sorry, Tron, after you went to all the trouble to make us such a magnificent robot. What can I say? Cheer up, Diesel. Don't worry. We'll go back to the ship and come up with a new plan. Bad. Yeah. That's it. That's the spirit. Thanks, you two. Now, I couldn't have asked for a better brother and sister than you. We'll get that blue boy next time for sure. <laughs> I don't understand. Even though he got the better of us again, I don't feel the least bit angry. Why is that? And that's our fight with the Bonds. Uh, stay tuned for part 12, folks, because we're going to be going into the lake subgate, and it should be good.